check out this veiled lady. Look. Ludwig van Beethoven. I think he died in... Give yeah, that's a fun fact. God, look at that on the Thumpazer's composer's corner. Look at Erica there, smoking a fag. Looks like he's been shot under the eye. It's plastic, that. Look at that curly sausage thing at the end. Hi guys, we are back in Vienna. Uh, weirdly, on the same day that we came last year, which was um, unintentional. So I just wanted to come back and check out the other side of the cemetery. We've seen all the big stuff before, but I want to go find that um, pink sausage again and um, hopefully get back and have a look inside the chapel this time. So we're just gonna have a wander around, there's no plan, and um, just see what we can discover. idea which way to go. Um, that was a big group of tourists coming. Let me just get ahead of them. Don't want to get stuck in the middle filming everybody. This is a big plot. Bruder. Bruder family. Interesting. So yeah, like I said, we're just gonna walk around and um, oh, have a look at anything that um, catches my eye, like this one. Look at the gold detail at the top, and this is for the dime bar family. I wonder if that damage at the top is from uh, bomb damage from World War II. I guess these are the planks they use when they're digging the grave. There's another big chunk of uh, stone missing off this one, look. Oh, that's a nice angel. Emanuela Perlick, 1921 to 2014. Oh, what's this? Is it an, uh, oh no, I thought it was uh, an open grave, freshly dug. So I just visited the um, funeral museum which was um, pretty cool and um, I'll do a video on it for, that'll just be for members only. Interesting, they had um, single use coffins with a trapdoor in it so they could reuse the coffin next time. Must be on the flight path for Vienna Airport. Um, 
talking about membership videos or member videos and members um, I just wanted to give go this way um, a shout out to Ellen Chambers who's a big supporter here on the channel after joining the Catacomb level membership and uh, also on Kofi as well so thank you very much Ellen well, look at these two Johan and Josephine what a shame the pictures have faded they normally last quite a long time and um, on the subject of saying thank yous thank you very much to Martha as well for um, really big donations to the channel really appreciate that as well Martha and of course everybody else that makes donations thank you very much this is a nice angel in this one Weech family sorry if I don't pronounce that right she's got a bunch of fresh flowers there oh look at this lovely couple died quite recently so won't linger too much well this is a new one give you a bit of an idea on um, construction methods or breeze block and concrete these days So, Janovic Romano he looked like he lived a, a good life, doesn't he? And it's nice to see um, a grand modern grave for a change. But rest in peace. Oh, look at this. The plot's reserved, but they're not dead yet. This is a uh, 2000 and something. Good to be prepared, I guess. So this is the contemporary sort of grave area, or modernist, I guess. I call it the pink sausage area. this horse to pass okay, it's not passing I covered this last time but this is Manfred Deeks he was an artist Probably the craziest grave in the world, well, apart from that pink sausage over the hedge. Someone stood there again like last time. Gunter Damish. Not sure what that's meant to symbolise. Peter Patzak. Again, I don't understand that. But whatever um, floats your boat, I guess. And there should be a creepy clown just around this corner. There it is. Some really interesting ones. We, like I said, we've covered this. covered this area last year but funnily enough there was a man sat on a bench and his wife stood exactly in the same position I think so I didn't want to film them but we're gonna um, film it now so 
this is Franz West, who was an artist and famous for creating sculptures in this style. It might be one of his, I'm not too sure. Definitely one of the most unusual graves you'll see. This was Udo Jürgens, we covered him last time as well with his piano covered grave or cloth covered piano. Alfred Adler. These are some of the more simple ones. Ligeti. Good to see some uh, modern ones from uh, time to time. Not a big, massive fan of uh, simplicity like this, but um, don't, don't splash me. It's um, got to respect people's styles and um, wishes and be a bit open minded. Gert Jonker. It's an interesting face on that. So we're going to go try and head inside the chapel this time. Didn't go in it last time for some reason. Some nuns going in there, look. Let's go follow them. arrived.
Let's go in. I'm at the front now. I don't want to go through there. What's this way? Alf, Alf Shook. Oh, it's a lift. Let's go and have a look. Let's go. Uh, are we on? Let's go, Let's go down. I don't know what they mean. Nothing here. Just this door. I don't know if he's going to come back. This door's just got an alarm at the top, hasn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, is this it? Oh, yes. Go for that. Let's go down to you. It must be under something, wasn't it? Under crypt, maybe? in here a bit. Not got a good it's coughing. It's not got a good uh, feeling to it. I don't even know I'm supposed to be uh, down here. Oh what's that? So crazy. Wonder what's on the other side of that door. I'm not going to try it though.
that's uh, behind the door. You can see in through here probably. It's a lot of jams to this closet or something. Yeah, this is going to be open. Oh. oh, I don't know where we are. So I'm just at the back of that chapel now. There's a fresh burial here, look. And then um, I guess this was used to lower the coffin in, so it must have been very recent. It's a grim find. Oh look, a grave marker holding the um, slabs together. Something down the end there has caught my eye, so I'm just going to have a wander down these graves until we get to it. It's old lanterns. Loving the uh, black and gold together. Crempler. So these are like from. 1800s. Sorry to skip by them all, but I want to. Uh, I'm just drawn to this one. I saw it in the distance. And look at that. She's going into the door to the other side. Slazze family. Wow, that's so cool. Nineteen thirty six, nineteen fifty five. That is awesome. That's up there in the top ten. There's a big gap in this vault. You can see in. Oh, yeah, I can see a coffin. Wow, look at that. First one I've um, seen here. <sighs> this one's sporting a full on roof, complete with tiles. Look, it's good to see something a bit different. Oh, these bloody planes! Oh, that's that one over there. That's interesting. Oh, I like that. Paula Rittner, 1912. Wow, that is special. See, that's why I always say cemeteries are the best art galleries and museums. So why stay inside when you can come outside? I uh, don't know if it'll come out on camera, but that Jesus almost looks like a hologram. As you can get this angle, a bit of a reflection on it. It's cool. Just 
Waiting for that plane to pass. Look at that, Caroline. No dates or anything. It's just starting to rain a bit now. It was a uh, forecast heavy rain all day, so doing well so far. Look at this lady in a dress. The deer there, look, can you see it? I'm not sure if it'll come out on camera, but it's a bit far away. Let's go see if we can, um, just going uh, to the left, we're gonna try and head it off, see if we can get a closer look. Oh, she's seen me. Oh, probably heard me first, didn't she? Don't want to freak her out too much, but um, try and get a bit closer. Doesn't want to be friends today. Oh, she's gone all the way over that road already. There's another gap in the vault on this one over here. Oh, it's full of dirt. It's a deer again. Kind of want to follow her, might lead us to um, something interesting. Wonder why this one's not being maintained. Impressive monument, isn't it? Schiff family. Wow, I love this one. Robert Hertzfelder, <coughs> excuse me, 1907. And there's uh, another nice one across the road from Robert for Hannah Hambock, or Anna, 1907 as well. Lovely that for the Klein family. Can't see a Calvin on there. Not that Calvin Klein would have died in the 1900s. Is he still alive? I'm not sure.
Kim family. This one's a bit eerie for the uh, is it Gows or Cows family. Cool design, isn't it? Very um, kind of brutalist. Oh, I've just seen um, like a brass uh, relief over there. Hopefully, it's worth the walk. as well. Never used to like these um, natural stone looking ones, but this is uh, kind of growing on me a bit. Professor Kummel. Kummel Dippling. Oh, no way, look. Follow them because they're gonna lead me to. <sighs> Sorry, fly. Gonna lead me to something cool, hopefully. Oh, they're off again. I'm not that fast. <laughs> we'll go the same direction anyway. Oh yeah, I see something cool already. That's what I think it I think it is. Look at these are uh, smart gentlemen in their military uniform. Leopold, Anton and George. And if this is what I think it is... Yeah, it's a statue. Oh my god, look at that. Thank you very much, dear. Can't read the name on it because of the tree. But look at that. I'm sure I saw a parrot around here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, probably, probably an eagle more than a parrot. Let's have a look anyway.
Oh wow, look at that. Love Camera's overheating because it's quite hot today. Probably got about five minutes before it um, is too hot to use again. This is uh, rather impressive, isn't it? Eagle and a sword. I wonder if this is a um, Russian grave or Russian memorial. Can't read the text on it. It's going to be a grave, isn't it? It's got a vault. Oh, it's like a military helmet on the back. Lieutenant Ritter, 1859. <coughs> Losing my voice a bit now. <coughs> Spotted this handsome little boy, Brenner Josef Seppel, 1934. Oh man. on this angel. It's like an archangel. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. So that's it from this trip to Vienna. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. I just spotted this on the way out. I thought it was um, Quite a sweet picture. Look at him. So cool. Alright guys, definitely off this time. See you on the next one.